good morning guys, this is Naeem Aslam, uh, Chief Market Analyst at uh, Avatrade. Uh, can I have a look at uh, gold and then see how the recent price action is uh, preparing uh, for a downward move or possibly in an effort move. So what we have at the moment is we have a daily time frame. Uh, again, we are going to do a multiple time frame analysis. Uh, daily time frame would be our perspective time frame. We wanted to know uh, that if we could join a longer term trend. In this case, that the trend is going down. Uh, but then we don't want it to go short or long in a major level of a support or in a major level of resistance. So in this case, we do know uh, the, the solid green lines are the, the major level of uh, support right at this point, and the price was kind of it, it actually bounced from our major level of resistance. Uh, for, for the time being, uh, ignore any of these uh, broken lines. I'll uh, explain them when we go into our trading time frame. So our tra trading time frame would be a four-hour time frame. Uh, our perspective time frame is a daily time frame where we find the trend, and 30-minute time frame would be our executionary time frame. So in this one, we know that uh, we are near our major level of a support. So price has a lot of uh, there are a lot of chances that the price would uh, bounce back, which it did. Uh, and then the major level of resistance is between 1450 to 1500, uh, or possibly after that would be 1400 to 1425, right at this level. So we have a lot of room to move uh, back towards the upside, uh, and then the price has bounced from its major level of a support. So let's go into our uh, pers our trading time frame, and then we'll pick up our major uh, our level of support and resistances. So from here, guys, this is where the s the the broken line is our support between this uh, line and that line is our level of a support, and then we do know that this support is actually going right towards the 11:50, nearly 11:50 level on a bigger time frame, on a perspective time frame. Now. Uh, within the, our trading time frame, the first resistance is between 1280 to 1300. Now, price does actually need to break this level of a resistance for us to be clear that okay, look, there is a possibility of an upward uh, trend, or the, the the downward trend has actually uh, some sort of a you know uh, it's becoming uh, it has weakened or anything like that. So, price really needs to close above 1300 for us to get any sort of a confirmation on that point. Uh, the RSI is trading in line with the price action which means that the price is making higher highs so does our uh, RSI is making higher highs which is a good point. Uh, this kind of illustrates us that the upward move could continue that the price would take this minor level of a hesitation where the price is actually at the moment is hesitating and is struggling to break this uh, le minor minor level of resistance which is not a good sign uh, because if the price is hesitating at this level, it, it's going to struggle a lot to break this level of resistance. Uh, just speaking from the clearly from the price action. So let's go into a smaller time frame and then see a uh, 30 minute time frame and see if we do have any opportunity, some sort of a trade where we could actually potentially be uh, we, we, we can execute any sort of a trade, maybe long or short. Uh, by looking at a 30 minute which is our trading time frame which actually determines whether we are going to press a long or short button uh, it tells us to actually to do nothing uh, because our level of resistance is at this from our trading time frame which was a four hour time frame and then our level of support was this one so a price is trading in between them now this is a minor level of hesitation we, we're going to ignore this we're going to wait for the price to come in any in between these two levels which it did recently uh, at uh, this level which was another opportunity for us to go long on that one uh, but for the time being price is trading between them so there, there is no opportuni as opportunity at all for the time uh, for the for the trade to happen so uh, let's wait and then uh, hopefully the price does break this le minor level of a hesitation and then comes into this level of resistance and then there is a probability uh, that the price would again you know on the break of 1280 then we would coming back to us this level of a support so guys that's where we're going to leave our analysis it's a pure analysis of a price action uh, and uh, see how the price would pan out over the next few hours or so and then we'll pick up from there if you do have any questions uh, please feel free to post them and I will come back to you on that thank you